everybody. Welcome to the Horn Hangouts. We had quite a long break. We were on last time in June with Andrew Brain in this very room here at the Philharmonie in Berlin. But we had a, a different guest. We had a big stormtrooper right behind us. Have a look at the Hangout if you didn't see it. You'll see what I mean. Today, we have a second timer on the Horn Hangouts. I'm really happy and proud to be here with my beloved colleague, Gabor Tarkovi. <laughs> you have to tell us again once. In, in Hungary, you say Tarkovi Gabor. Tarkovi. Tarkovi. <laughs> now, Gabor just said to me before we went online, he said, so Sarah, we'll do the same as last time, which means you don't like to speak English. <laughs> so my English is not so good. <laughs> so I, I talk German. Ich werde Deutsch sprechen und Englisch und... Uh, Aber nur die zwei Sprachen. He's Un going to Ungarisch speak English and German, no Hungarian, no, uh, uh, no Japanese or Korean. And yes, <laughs> no Italian. We are so happy that so many people are watching all over the world, especially lots and lots of you who we were just uh, visiting on tour from South Korea, from Japan, from China and Hong Kong. There's a lot of you. You, give, you gave a master class in these places, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I gave a master class in Hong Kong. Hong Kong? And the Academy, Music Academy, and uh, in Seoul. You were There's busy. Uh, many people coming in Seoul, maybe 100 uh, passive, wow. so to her. And uh, seven people playing, and this was a very, very good organization, and uh, it was big fun for me. And in Japan, I have three days master class, but private master class, three not, days not of open. Masterclass. So you weren't working as hard as me. I was <laughs> playing all the concerts and Gabor was doing master classes. <laughs> yes, I, I have only one concert in Japan. So I have uh, three free days. But of course, you were prepared to jump in. You know, you were the, we say in German, the Einspringer, the, the, the reserve. So if somebody... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, my colleague Stamas play Petrushka. So I practice every day Petrushka <laughs> if he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I can play, but uh, he played very good and he was not sick, so I teach. <laughs> that, that must be actually for a trumpet player, you get the call in the afternoon, sorry, uh, I'm sick, you have to play tonight, and Petrushka. Yeah, this is a, a big piece and uh, so we have to practice this piece. <laughs> yeah. Is this one of the hardest solos in the, in the repertoire? <clears throat> It is not so hard, but this is open and this is a beautiful solo. And if we not practice enough, it is too hard. Yeah. But uh, it is beautiful to play. Yeah. We have more hardest uh, things in, uh, in uh, our repertoire. It's more fun at home to play, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, all these people, is everybody, um, is everybody watching? Is that, can you hear us? Have you all got your drinks? Because I know um, Chris Martin wrote to me from, um, from New York just now and said, I think you're in New York, Chris, right? And he said oh. he's going to put the coffee on. Um, and Handsome Tim is watching in Melbourne because he's controlling the live stream. And Tim was drinking something that goes with lime and tonic water. I wonder what that is. Hmm. So, um, and Andy is in Hastings drinking tea. So let us know what your beverage uh, of your time zone is right now, okay? So, Jack Burt says, Gabor, I'm in my car on the way to Boston to hear the Alpine Symphony. That's nice. Oh. My mother is watching. Choi says, South Korea loves you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and, um, ah, oh, my mum, my mum is, yes, mum, it's okay, thank you. She's, uh, she's out in the garden watching. Kere from Norway, Edward from California, Boti from Hungary. Do you know somebody called Boti? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So let us know where you're watching from. It would be fantastic. And the reason Gabor and I wanted to do this little hangout today is because um, we've made a little video about warming up, about warm-ups. It's called Warm Up with Sarah and Gabor, and it's on the Shargal uh, Vimeo page, isn't it? Yes. If yes. any of you can find the link to it and put it in the chat, that would be really great, um, because I, 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 I'm too busy to put it in there now. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we just thought a lot of you made a video before about orchestral playing. Yes, uh, I make a video with uh, orchestra accepts, and that uh, I have fun, but that was not uh, not the best uh, choice, I think. Alone to to talk about accepts and playing into a camera, it, it is good, and in, in cameras, yeah. so. Uh, I have the idea and I tell you, uh, okay, we can do some things together. Uh, I think for, from, from two brass players, it's for the, for the public, 
is more interesting from one part, from trompeter. And warming up is a, is a central yeah. <laughs> theme yeah. for every brass player or for every player. And I'm luck that we do that uh, together. Yeah, we, we had fun doing it. It's, um, it's, it's not a free video because we do everything for free. The horn hangouts are for free and everything. We, but this video you actually have to pay for. Um, but I promise you the, the, the proceeds from my lot will all go to the horn hangouts fund. Promise that. Um, but it's really worth it. It's a little video. It's 40 minutes long about and, uh, and you hear exactly how Gabor warms up and he, 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 he shows us as well. Um, I doodle away on my horn. I must say that while the, in the making of, Gabor would sit there and go da -da 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 and I'd pick up my horn and go do 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 do. <laughs> No, no, so it was very nice. I, I, I had a little bit of a complex while filming that, but it, it turned out really nicely. And I don't know, has anyone got, uh, can anyone put the, um, the link to it on the chat and then you'll know where it is. If any of you have watched it and have questions for us, then please write them in here and we will do our best to answer them. Chris Martin just, walk, just, just wrote, watching from New York. Hello, Chris. <laughs> hey. Good, <laughs> good morning. And I have really good news for the Horn Hangout fans. Chris is going to be on a Horn Hangout in February. I think February, what did we say, Chris? February 8th, uh, <laughs> live from the New York Philharmonic Archives. So, um, yeah. Looking forward to that. Oh. So you'd better be watching his. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Bosco. Um, just put the put the put the link to the video up. So if any of you've seen it and want us to ask, uh, answer any questions, um, then please write in. If any of you have any other questions for Gabor, then write them all in. I will do my best to get to them. You see, we've got this collection. I, I bought a collection of of practice mutes. My favorite ones. Um, also because they look nice and I have a nice little pink one. You don't have a pink one, do you? You have a, uh, a, a bottle that, that you like. That yeah, uh, I have a very good, uh, for, for me, the, 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 the best mute, the hotel mute, uh, is a uh, very good friend from me, make this in, from New Japan Philharmonic, the trumpet player. This is a cola bottle or, or water bottle. <laughs> And I, I have on the home. Sorry, we I have not not today. here. But yeah. uh, but now on the on the tour in Asia, we have many trouble uh, in uh, in the hotels. And I practice with cup mute. Now uh, it was better for my number sure. Too much to practice with hotel mute is a little uh, dangerous for 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 the. Gabor got in big trouble on this tour <laughs> in all hotels, and I know because he's always on the same <laughs> floor as me. Boom, 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 yeah, boom. yeah, yeah. In Tokyo, was uh, <laughs> after two minutes was the hotel director <laughs> there, and he said, "Me stop, please." And then I stopped, but I practice uh, a little, a little more with uh, cup mute. Yeah. And uh, never why come. is cup mute the best mute for if you don't use the practice? Why, why is it good for your embouchure? Uh, cup mute. Uh, you can play a little more more air mm. and you have a little more sound and a little more good feeling with uh, with hotel mute uh, we have sometimes the feeling so <laughs> this and two yeah. hours long yeah. is a little too too, too much yeah we have um with with our video about warming up there's a little free video of of our our experiences of warming up in hotel rooms and um, we talk about our favorite mutes and and if there are any horn players watching this is still my favorite Warm up mute. This is the silent brass. You know that you could plug in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but nobody ever uses the plug in bit. But the resistance of this one is still the best. But it doesn't fit in my horn case. So it's good for at home, uh, but it's not good for touring. And I, I still prefer these ones. Um, these Oku Okura mutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they're the, the plastic ones too. And he just made a, a new version of them here. Uh, so, so this oh, one. Yeah. yeah, and of that one too. And that's this is the. It's a nice it? color, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We just this brought these back from Japan. Good with us. for girls. Good for girls. But you have a I have a green one green here. For yeah, that's for you. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't go with my shirt. <laughs> Anybody hear him out there? <laughs> Chris, did you hear him? <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh my goodness, look at all this. Somebody, so Bosco has written in a question already. Uh, we tour so much with demanding repertoire. As we're in immer auf dem auf Tournee mit richtig schweren Stücke. What happens if you have a bad day? Uh, I assume on the tour where things are not working, but you still have to play, for example, Petrushka at night. What do, what what do you do during the day? Pray. <laughs> <laughs> Beaten. <laughs> <laughs> on the 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> beaten. Uh, on the tour, we have many bad days. Uh, so we have many flights. Uh, after the flights, we have not so good embouchure. What does the flight do with your embouchure? <clears throat> I try to, to warm up before the flight. Mm -hmm. Maybe also yeah, in the airport. Yeah, usually. or the airport, yeah. <laughs> or, or uh, in the morning from eight to night and uh, nine go the orchestra to airport. He's very popular on mornings of free days when we fly after parties the night before because he'll always get up and practice. Yeah, <laughs> this is one 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 things. So I I I try to practice two three times every day. Not too much. We check the lips and. Uh, not so difficult stuff, but uh, <coughs> good stuff for, for air and, and for, for relaxing. Sometimes on the, on, on the tour we have two, two, st two strange pieces and after the pieces is... Uh, what do you mean strange? Modern? Yeah, and then and hard for hard the um, embouchure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then it's for me important many vocalists to playing and, 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 and slow and uh, less stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that, that does your warm-up change depending on how much you play the, same, the day before? You know what? You have to watch the video to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you talked about that on the video. Yeah, I play now maybe 20 years long the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but some, I, I mean, I've, I change things how, depending on how I feel, but on tour it's really hard. Yeah, on the tour I changed also. Yeah, on the tour it's just, and also because you can't play, if, if we have big pieces at night, I like to warm up loud in the morning, you know, make sure you have that resistance ready for the evening, and you just can't. We had one concert where we were four hours on a train, one of those really fast China trains going to <laughs> Wuhan, and we got there and you're an hour in your room and you have to leave and, yeah. We girls have to decide between our warm-ups or doing our hair. Zeng asks, do you bring only one instrument on the tour? Does any accidents happen? Bringst du nur no, no ein? Nee, du bringst ja viel. B und C. B und C. B und C. So what happens if there's an accident or uh, there's a problem with the instrument on the tour? Now, I have one more in the case. Okay. So I have two sea trumpets. Yeah. On the, on the but you know, on, in Asia just now, we were very lucky because there are so many good instrument, instrument makers. Yes. Like in, in Japan, we just go to Yamaha and... Uh, and uh, oh, speaking of Yamaha, I just remembered we have to thank Shargal <laughs> today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Oliver's watching in the Shargal offices, and we have to thank them because they are sponsoring today's hangout, which is great. Because what you can't see yeah. is behind the scenes here we have Jakob and George, who are our dream team hangout um, hangout guys. And uh, yeah, with all this equipment, it's impressive, huh? It's getting bigger yeah, and yeah, bigger. Yeah. We're getting very perfectionistish in our <laughs> in our old age. So thank you to Shargal for sponsoring the hangout. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the trumpet. Thank you. <laughs> 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 That's from them, yeah? Yeah, I, I play uh, Shaga uh, all, all instruments. Of them. Yeah, and I make uh, in, in, the, in the last years a special model for, for, for me and for my colleagues, so Model Berlin. And uh, I play that also in the B flat trumpet. And Did you help to design? You design help to design it? No, the, the, the trumpet design is the same. I. Uh, uh, we have this together, Mundrohr, Schallstück, it's a bit different. They built it together with the, with the mouth pipe, the mouth pipe and the, and the bell and everything. Yeah, um, and, and now it's 19% uh, the same what I, okay. I think. Oh. And then we, we make now also. Yeah. To, to um, Nicole in Switzerland wants to know, what is your favourite piece of classical music or film music to play? Oh. <laughs> I, I would say, that's a really difficult question, it's like answer, asking which is your favourite child. Um, but I, I would say my favourite piece of Gabor film music is when we played at the Waldbühne and ah. you played you played uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, dun da da da, da, I, da uh, and Star Wars, what, what were you going to play? But we playing... <laughs> that we playing also in the Waldbühne uh, with uh, Ricardo Shai. Yeah, this was, a, a, was nice. a, a, a very beautiful moment, but you know the, the concert, the first concert, we cancelled because rain. It was too coming. rainy, that's right. And oh. then we played the concert end of August. 
But on this day was two rehearsals for Mahler 7 oh, symphony. I so we, we play from 10 uh, until <laughs> afternoon 4, Mahler 7. I then we drive to Waldbühne and uh, the rehearsal and the live concert on TV. And uh, I was completely uh, finished. On the end. Yeah. Because and the Waldbühne is usually the most tiring concert of the whole year. Because when you play outside, you have to play differently yeah, yeah. and loud. Outside is much difficult yeah. to play. Yeah. So uh, I was very lucky that uh, yeah. uh, we, 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 we played good and, and this was good. Yeah. Listen, you guys, it's gone very quiet in the chat, which means I think you're probably all trying to, uh, to watch the Vimeo uh, film at the same time. Jakob, should we give them a little taste of the warm-up video just so that you know um, what we did? And maybe you have some questions because of that little video. Here you go. Here's the trailer to our warm-up video. Welcome everybody. We're making a little video today about our warm-ups. <laughs> Wie macht man das, dass jeden Tag, dass man jeden Tag in guter Form hat? The question is, where does the warm-up stop and where does practice begin? So I check my lips, what I can play, what I cannot play. Students always ask me, um, you know, how much do you warm up, how much do you practice? Dann versuche ich die Luft so frei zu bekommen. I think it's quite similar what trumpets and, and, and horns do. Also fast wie ein Sänger. He Song. does sing during his warm-ups, I've heard <coughs> him do it. I sing in only home. 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 We're going to go and do some practice, right? Yeah. <laughs> see bye you next bye. time. <laughs> so, if you want to see more, then um, go and have a look at the Vimeo video of how to warm up with Sarah and Gabor, um, which is really actually very impressive how he warms up. I learned a lot during making <laughs> that video. I really did. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, I learned about his warm up so much that I know exactly in the hotels if he's warming up nearby because now I. <laughs> Now I recognize all your exercises. Um, so if there are any questions to the video, do let us know. But some good, some good questions have just come in. So I'm just going to shoot them to you. Um, very sweet. My mom, who is such a loyal horn hangout watcher. Mom, you asked a very nice tw question. She said, does a sideways trumpet sound any different for our upright one? <laughs> so she means by sideways, I think she means rotary. And the upright one. Can you answer that for my mum? She would be very happy to know. Does it, what's the difference in the sound? Chris is probably laughing his head off in New York oh, right now. But, but I have not my uh, upwards trumpet. <laughs> I have only the sideways. So, <laughs> so the, what the is the difference in the sound? In why, the, um, why do you play? Also, Tom just asked a geek question from a timpanist. Have the Berlin Phil always played C trumpets more than B flats? I think he means maybe um, rotary uh, rather than... I think... Um, but we play with C and B trumpet. This is, uh, this is uh, not so special. No. We play 99% in the orchestra sideways, sideways <laughs> trumpet. So for the sound, the Berliner Philharmonic and for the tradition, yeah. is this the, the, the sound. Yeah. Why? Uh, Why? Is this, it rounder? This sound? No, you can play also with piston trumpet round sound mm -hmm. and and i think every good trumpet player i play with rotary that chris play with with uh, with piston trumpet and many many very good trumpet players uh, playing with with piston trumpet very very good in all orchestras and i think if this trumpet player coming to berlin mm. i think he have the sound from the orchestra and play the sound mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we have the tradition some pieces is much comfortable to playing with the with the strings in, 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 in Germany and with the woodwinds. Maybe the classical, the Vienna classical pieces, uh, Mozart, Haydn, Beethoven, all the, the German romantics, maybe Wagner, is, is much, much better. So we have maybe Stravinsky. Stravinsky is maybe much uh, easy to playing with piston and Travel and Debussy. And American music as well. And you know. American music. Yeah. So we're playing now in, uh, in six weeks. No, Sylvester is four weeks. New Year's Eve, <laughs> yeah, yeah, four weeks. Today is the first December. <laughs> yeah. So 
Sir Tivan, the Temba Sylvester concert, we play a piece uh, from from Bernstein, Bernstein and yeah. and we playing uh, this this piece with with piston trumpets. So upright trumpets, up, upright Mom. trumpets, <laughs> and uh, I play every Gershwin uh, pieces with, yeah. with upright trumpet. The sound is a little bit more. I don't know. It's more direct with the with the piston trumpet. Is that right, or is it, it's a different type of playing? No, maybe much direct, but uh, you know, we play also with the man's piece, and the man's piece is very important. Yeah. You can play in with, with the rotary trumpet. Uh, a beautiful warm sound mm -hmm. and you can playing with a different month with the rotary trumpet very bright yeah, sound yeah. that is not so comfortable for orchestra so every players <laughs> our bassoon players have great earplugs yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> but uh, both trumpets piston and and rotary have a good sound if you play <laughs> with a good feeling yeah yeah Good, thank you for those. There's lots of more questions come in. Um, Zeng in Melbourne asks, hello Zeng in Melbourne, it's very late. Are you drinking the same thing as Tim that goes tonic and something that goes very well with tonic and lime? After so many years, do you still feel nervous before playing the Petrushka solo? I am always nervous for Petrushka. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think everyone is nervous for Petrushka. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that's that, that's that <laughs> it answer. It is normal. Uh, I'm also not a machine. No, oh. is there any? I don't know so any anyone who wouldn't be nervous. This is uh, good for concentration. If I feel me uh, nervous, now we playing Male Nine is also not the the very lightest solo. It's a beautiful solo, and I think also to. Uh, today morning in the first rehearsal with Bernard Heitig, oh, I concentrated. So, so <laughs> I, I hope so what I practice what enough. What, is your, what would your tip be for a trumpet player who gets very nervous before solos? Mm, if I get nervous, uh, I concentrate more, more of my breathing. Yeah. So not too fast breathing. Not <laughs> yeah. So long time out. And not so, not so much breathing, very slow, and and then your heart is more slower. Mm -hmm. After the solo, mm -hmm. it is <laughs> very fast, but then breathing slow out. Yeah. This is maybe one one method. I, I agree. The air is is the answer to to most things. It's just when you're feeling so nervous, it's hard to 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 concentrate on it. It's, yeah. it's a it's a vicious circle. It just yeah. You know. And the breathing before the solo. Yeah. This, the, the solo, you're beginning the solo with a breathing, not you with your first note. The, the maybe, <laughs> and by Petrushka you can't sing it. <laughs> this is good That's for... brilliant! <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic! This is good for the... For for the feeling. That's wonderful. This is not so easy. No. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, or, or not so difficult. This is very easy if you're thinking. <laughs> this is music. This is not. Uh, yeah. You know the the vowels. Yeah. Mm. It's coming not from Stravinsky. This is from Josef Lana. Uh, Who wrote all the words? Josef La yeah. Lana wrote Steirische Tänze yeah, yeah. for string quartet. Yeah. And this is the second waltz. And this was inspired from an Austrian music. And I think also the trumpet solo is a, a small marsh or polka. Mm. <laughs> this is this style. And if you sing... <laughs> boom! <laughs> Then you're, in the, mo then you're in the mood. That's, <laughs> yes. that's a lot easier than what's going on before in Petrushka, because it's just counting your bars and then playing. What a fantastic <laughs> tip, don't you think, everybody? I think that is really, uh, yeah. And Marcus says, but what if you not only think that, but play it? Well, Marcus, I think he might lose his job if he did that. But I would like to hear Petrushka if you played that before. <laughs> <laughs> In a rehearsal, maybe one day you should try that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Handsome Tim, who is uh, awake in Melbourne, um, just wrote, please don't, don't forget to take some stream selfies 
and tag them with Horn Hangout on Twitter. And that would be fantastic. We'd love some selfies. I know Brianna is watching and she's Miss Selfie Hangout Queen. Um, but she always manages a really cool selfie while she's watching the Horn Hangouts. So and if any of you are wearing your t-shirts, then take a selfie with those. Um, <laughs> but we'd love to see them. If you tag Horn Hangout and put them on Twitter or you can post them on our, on, on our Facebook pages, we're just really happy to, to know where everyone is watching from. We love this global feeling <laughs> of everyone watching. Um, so I saw a very nice, oh yeah, Ismael Brad Brandayo, did ah, I say that right? Oh, you know? I, I, I teach ah. Ismael in... Uh, I think everyone... On, 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 the, on the masterclass in, uh, in New York. Ah, okay. On well, he asked a question for you. Do you have a specific lesson when you were a student that set you up for later success? And I have very good teachers in Hungarian, but I... Not but. Uh, I have very good teachers in Hungarian, and I learn in Hungarian with piston trumpets. Upright. Uh, Upright trumpet. <laughs> and I uh, make my first audition in uh, Germany, in Reutlingen, with upright trumpets. Yeah. So then I win the job, it was very luck, but I play never before rotary trumpets. And my first lesson uh, with Hans Gans, that was uh, 95, was very impressive for me. but. I, I think of the piston trumpet or the upright trumpet, you can play music also. And the rotary trumpet is only for some pieces, but I think that is not music instrument. Mm. That is an instrument for good for orchestra sound. And then I heard first time in my life Hans Gans uh, do playing, he played uh, with Vienna Philharmonic in Berlin. Uh, Sinfonia Domestica, and this was so good that I heard first time in my life one, one very, very good sound and a and, 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 and big musician to playing with rotary yeah. trumpets. Then I go uh, next week to Hans, uh, uh, I visit Hans in Vienna, and we have the first lesson. And I play 40 minutes long the Beethoven signal, oh, B flat, 40 minutes long. But it's long, only like 10 seconds. Only for the. For the sound and for the attack. And Hans was, no, 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 no round, so heard. And this was the, the best uh, lesson for me. Oh, Hans. Hans I, I recorded that yeah. and I heard every day, half years long, and in half year I go second times wow. to the lesson. So yeah. this was mine. Yeah, he's <laughs> a really... And speaking of Gansh, I actually sent a message to Thomas today ah, yeah. and saying, Thomas, if you're watching, uh, if you can come <laughs> online at 2 o'clock because Thomas is also going to do a Horn Hangout, finally. Oh. Yeah, we've been trying to find a date and he's really, he's really... So in case you're watching, Thomas, hello. And we're looking forward to your Horn <laughs> Hangout too. Ah, let's go the way there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jason Chang wrote, Taiwan trumpeters love Gabor very much. That's oh. nice. And Thank Lampros you. from Greek from Greece, Griechenland said, Mr. Gabor, how many hours do you practice every day? Oh, on the in tour the I practice. It, in the hotel it seems <laughs> like hours. <laughs> in the hotel too much. <laughs> <laughs> also sometimes for me too much. And uh, on the tour maybe two half, three hours. Mm. Uh, if I have a new piece to learn, uh, then more. But I think three three hours mm. so this is the middle sometimes six or seven sometimes uh, one yes if if i, I play with the orchestra maybe yeah. Zimmerman concert of course then i have to, to, to or a new piece new yeah. modern piece yeah then more yeah <laughs> i have a good question suddenly uh, sasha asks um super zestig gleich auf deutsch does it make a difference to the brass section when the conductor is a trained trumpet player like nelson's compared to a trained percussionist, Simon, or pianist? Das, das er uns versteht, das äh, wissen wir. Äh, aber es macht nicht einen riesigen Unterschied. Gabor says that, that, that you can tell that Andres uh, understands us, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. I must say, we were both so impressed with Andres in Boston just now at Tanglewood. You yeah, yeah, yeah. It was incredible playing that solo in the, in the John Williams. He, he, Amazing. Yeah, uh, uh, Andres is a very good player. He was in opera yeah. in Riga. But he didn't play for years. And then yeah, but he practices every day. He's, he, he, he he's good for, for, for warm ups. And uh, you know, the last time, if I play with TV, playing Parsifal. 
and uh, uh, Parsifal uh, Vorspiel. Uh, uh, Parsifal uh, Prelude. <laughs> <laughs> prelude. And uh, if I beginning to playing, he go a little faster. <laughs> and, and I, I told Andres, this is, uh, it's okay. Oh, because yeah, really, but oh. this is so hard. It's like, no, no, it is good in, in tempo. That's really <laughs> he was nice. Very, he was very, very da, nice. Da, 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 <laughs> no, 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 this, but a little so. Yeah. And uh, one time I played with uh, Andres a um, piece from Rim, Wolfgang Rim, Marcias. And this is a hard piece, the beginning. Uh, very, very hard, very high, and very slow. And uh, he makes also in the concert a little faster. <laughs> so maybe 66 is the one eight notes, or, or one quarters, and this was maybe oh. 60, 69. <laughs> and he looked at me. <laughs> this was very, very nice. Uh, he is a very nice person with the trumpets. Well, yeah. he, he, he practices every, yeah. uh, every time. But Sir Simon also really understands yeah, 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 the yeah. brass. You know, he would never leave us hanging at the end of of like yeah, yeah. Uh, you know even like Mahler nine at the end of the it first with Simon we also very easy to, to, to play. Bruckner chords. Yeah. Uh, we were always happy. He he'd sort of look out of the corner of his eye to see when we start to turn blue, <laughs> and then he'd stop the chord. So there's a couple very uh, very nice um, very nice hellos um, from Ayano San. Um, ah. Ayano, you know Ayano from yeah, she, yeah, was, yeah, she yeah. was with us in um, at PMF at the Pacific Music Festival. So hi Ayano, you're watching in Florida. And my oh. friend Anza from New World Symphony, also in Miami, is watching with his breakfast. Uh -huh. um, what are you eating for breakfast, Anza? <laughs> and he says, thanks, Gabor, for all the inspiration over the years. Oh. So that's very nice. And Christian Please. Buck is watching um, at, from the Dominican Republic. So we're, oh. we're a little bit jealous of that because uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's winter and very, very cold here. Um, yeah, apparently uh, Andres practices, uh, Tom from the Gewandhaus wrote that Andres has practiced trumpet in the rehearsal breaks. He really does, you know, Andres Nelson's. Uh, yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, he's really I know this. Into his trumpet playing. <laughs> yeah. So how are we doing with the selfies? Um, I can't see this on, on my iPad, but I'm sure there's been some really great hangout selfies. We're going to do one too afterwards, aren't we? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, Gabor, what is new for you? Can you darüber sprechen? Oder? Uh, for for uh, my, my teaching yeah. beginning. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Uh, in Berlin uh, is ein, ein Professor frei ge geworden seit drei Jahren. So the professor, the trumpet professor job is free. Uh, Here in Berlin at the Un UDK, the Universität, Universität der, der Künste. Künste. The teacher before was Con Conrad, Conrad in Groth, Groth. the uh, former solo trumpeter yeah. from Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. And uh, now maybe I beginning to teach, not maybe, maybe? I beginning to teach <laughs> uh, from, from 1st April with 50% uh, with my colleagues uh, from Deutsche Symphony Orchestra Berlin, with okay. Raphael Mensen. We teach three, three semester together, 50%. And after maybe I, <laughs> I uh, go 100% I to... I think we to have to finish the hangout at this point because <laughs> I'm going to cry. But uh, no, uh, it is not so. Uh, so it is 100% if I have the contract from the university. No, I have no contract. I have only uh, with, with, with talking. But if, uh, when alles nach Plan geht, then uh, ab 1. Uh, September 2019 uh, gehe ich an die Hochschule. If everything goes to plan in September 2019, Gaber will be Mr. Professor at the UDK in, in Berlin. And that means that mm -hmm. he would officially leave his position here at at the Berlin Phil, which is <laughs> absolutely so heartbreaking, I can't even begin. So all you trumpet players watching out there, can you please start to practice, practice. the sideways, the sideways <laughs> trumpet? You know, Ayano, Ansel, Chris Martin in New York, that goes for you too. <laughs> <laughs> there is no replacement for you, Gabor, really. Yeah, but uh, you know, in, in Germany you cannot do both together. No. And, uh, but you can be hired as an extra, so uh, yeah. you know, until we find someone yeah, you can find an, a choice for, for this, but, but uh, you cannot do no, together. No. And um, this is the important point. Can I ask you, why do you want to make this change now? Because you're still young, like me? Yeah, but now is the job free. Uh, if, uh, if the job is not free, maybe 
if I not go now to the university in two years. And you wanted this one in Berlin, you wouldn't consider go to Hungary or go to... No, uh, Berlin is very interesting for me, many friends also from orchestra and Guillaume and, and, and many colleagues mm. that uh, stay me very close live in Berlin. Yeah. I have also my flat in Berlin and I, I like Berlin. So your family, this is the your family likes yeah, to come to Berlin. My, too. my family yeah. live in Hungary and, and in Berlin. And uh, so this is the best city for me for, for beginning to teach. And now is the job free. So I do that. <laughs> yeah. Going to yeah, and I am in two years 50. I am young, but not so young. 50 is also young. 50 is really young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 50 is the new 30. Uh, yeah, yeah, but. For yeah. trumpet players, uh, you know, every year uh, is, is, is important. You can play also with 17, but not the same level mm -hmm. that you play with 50. I think also with 60, you can good playing. It is, it is possible. But sometimes... Or 90, it's like Bud, yeah. Bud Herseth. <laughs> and, uh, but I have so many interesting also without the trumpets. Uh, one some from me... Uh, um, study in Madrid. I, I would like also many times visiting my yeah. son. And with trumpet, with the praxis time, is a little difficult. Yeah. And I think if I have the professor, I have ma more time also for, for my hobbies. If, if I, I, I was also thinking, you know, about teaching somewhere, but I, I would be too lazy and not practice if I didn't have to practice. That, that's what I really notice in myself when I have a couple of weeks. I prefer to play, play more regularly because I stay better in shape. Um, maybe it's different for a, for a principal player. Yeah, for, for me, uh, if I not, not, not play in the orchestra, uh, I play many solos, or not many, but, but I have solo concerts and I have good chamber music groups uh, that I would like also play a little more. Mm that uh, now, and I think I practice every day and I play also with the students and... Uh, yeah, Gabor, Gabor loves to do master classes on tour because it means he gets to warm up, right? You yeah. play, it's better than in the hotel room. No, <laughs> in, 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 in Tokyo I have three master classes uh, from 12 until, uh, <laughs> until 8 p.m. But I, I practice not in the hotel room and I have no trouble with the hotel director. <laughs> this was very good for me. Or your colleagues. <laughs> or my colleagues. Yeah. No. Well, it's a big change for you. And, and the, the, the chat, either my, my internet isn't working or you guys are so shocked that you're not writing anything. But the chat, <laughs> the chat has gone completely silent. Um, I can't believe mm -hmm. that. Um, I, I, I assume that that's, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know if this is still working because <laughs> it's gone very quiet. <laughs> the only last, the only thing I got from Ayano, did you eat a lot of maguro, maguro sushi in Japan? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yes, <laughs> they all did. They ate it until you yeah, have yeah, your yeah. little favorite place in the in the Akasaka. Akasaka you know? Mitsuke. Yeah, <laughs> Where you uh, like yeah I have two very good places and uh, one very good place for for. Uh, uh, for soup, noodle soup and uh, kyoza and... Uh, That's very famous that one, all brass players know that one. Yeah, 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 in yeah. the middle of the, th on the, on the street. Yeah, yeah was the time in, in Tokyo was wonderful. Yeah. For you, I was playing concerts yeah. all the time. Nah, but I stay in 10 days. Uh, you go back? With, with, I go back with a quintet. What, do you, what are you doing there when you go back? Uh, we play a Christmas tour with um, the Berlin Brass Quintet. With, uh, Vienna, Vienna, Berlin. It's Vienna, Berlin, uh, Brass Quintet. Uh, Vienna Horn, play Thomas Schöpsel from Vienna and Dietmar Kübelböck uh, from uh, Solo Trombone from Vienna Philharmonic. And Alexander von Puttkammer from, from our orchestra and Guillaume Miel. Guillaume and Gabor are partners in, in, yeah, in yeah, yeah. crime. The two of them are in, <laughs> inseparable. It's a good team. It's a good team. <laughs> Actually, I sometimes wonder whether it's a good excuse to do these tours just to hang out. But uh, it's nice. It's nice to, you, you like this, you are always very Viennese at heart. Yeah, my, my family part uh, come from Austria, one part from Austria to oh, Hungary okay. uh, in the uh, 18th century. Yeah. Oh. Ah. And the boss part. <laughs> We have a couple more hellos. Uh, Patrick, our friend from Hong Kong, who is watching on the train. He was at our concert last night at the Staatsoper. He's visiting us from Hong Kong. So hi, Patrick. I'm glad the Deutsche Bahn uh, wireless is holding out. 
Um, Joaquin says hello from Malta. What are you doing in Malta, Joaquin? That's, uh, you, uh -huh. you really go around all over the place. And uh, um, Lampros from Greece asks just quickly, how to prepare and impress in auditions? How to impress in auditions? That's a wie, wie beeindruckt man im, im, Audi im, im Audition? In einem Probenspiel. That, that's, that's quite a good, it's totally nothing to do with what we just spoke to, but it's a good question. When you're listening to young players and you will be teaching a lot of young players, what impresses you? The, the, the first uh, is the sound, but what I hear, if I hear a good sound with good middle, with, uh, with um, good overnotes, this is the first impression. The second uh, impression is the articulation. So, but, but now, uh, on an audition, many people playing good Haydn mm. and, and play with good sound. The, for me, the very important after the sound and articulation is the character. Uh, if you have uh, Petrushka, Mala Fifth, Parsifal, you have three very different characters from the piece. And this character is the much important. Mm. If you have a good character, uh, on the, and, and there's maybe the orchestra thinking, ah, I would like her this Mahler five, mm. 20 years long. Yeah. Then you win. If you pl play the Mahler fifth too funny, um, this is not the character, this is a funeral march. This <laughs> is not Petrushka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Radetzky, this is uh, too, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, two marches, uh, is funeral <laughs> march and Radetzky march. Yeah. Um, Richard in Atlanta said, it seems harder and harder to find new solo positions because the current level is so high. Es uh, wird schwer, es is, is scheint schwerer und schwerer, neue Solo-Bläser zu finden, weil de, das Level ist so hoch. Um, do we scout prospects in advance? Das heißt, um, schauen wir schon mal rum, was es alles noch so gibt. Hast du noch ein bisschen, weißt du, was es da gibt da draußen? Uh, we, we have a free position in our orchestra. We Maybe Tamás go the second position of, of the position for Martin Kretzer. Yeah. So we, we do you, two, two auditions, auditions yeah. and we know what is the uh, so the standard. Stand. Yeah. So yeah. We, we have a di difficult uh, uh, situation. Only two countries of the world play every, every time with rotary trumpets. This is Austria and Germany. We play maybe 90% uh, or more with, with German trumpet. And we search a trumpet player for the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra. This, this person play maybe each, uh, many years in one good orchestra in Germany or in Austria with this trumpet for to learn to play with a rotary trumpet is the, the chair too hot <laughs> <laughs> the in chair, Berlin. The chair is too hot. That's not the right place to learn the rotary yeah. trumpet in and, and, as first and trumpet in Berlin. This, uh, das macht die Suche so schwer. It makes it difficult to, to find someone. It really does. But there, surely there are a lot of players out there. In America, I know of players that are wanting to come do the audition that are trying to learn. Is the rotary trumpet something you can, is it something you need to be born with? Like I remember the Vienna horn, the, the Vienna Phil horn players telling me that um, Vienna horn is something you need to be born with because to learn it later in life is, is, is very difficult. Is it, is it the same with the rotary trumpet? Uh, I think I cannot do for me. I, I beginning, uh, if I play my first notes, I play with rotary. My, my father have a rotary trumpet home. But uh, until my brother is also a trumpet player, a very good trumpet player, and uh, he play with piston. He study, he's uh, six years older. So I play piston. And I study until I, I, I win my first job with piston. I learn maybe six, seven years long that I have maybe 50% from this what I now can. This was seven, six, uh, uh, seven years that I learned to change from piston to the rotary. Okay. Only for the sound. We, we have a different sound in, in, in the head. If I play piston, I, I practice now one week only with, for the sound, for the feeling. And this feeling is different. And Many trumpet players uh, 
by uh, uh, rotary trumpets, very good, and thinking the good rotary sound is dark, dark. But it's not dark, with a dark sound, we cannot, uh, no, no, no overplaying the orchestra. The good sound is this sound, and not direct sound, also a brighter a tone, wide f a wide sound. sound. A wide sound yeah. rather than a yeah. direct sound. But not dark. Yeah, uh, not dark. Uh, Dark is the night. Right. <laughs> oh, that's very philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> but but a dark sound, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, never heard it uh, yeah. in, uh, out, outside. Yeah. Interesting is the, the brighter, yeah. the, the masters, uh, interessant. Yeah. But still, if there are players out there that are happy to ch <laughs> come and try, we are going to be needing quite a few trumpet players yeah. uh, in the next time. But, uh, but listen, Gabor, we, uh, we have, we've done, I can't believe it, it goes so quickly. We've, we've, done, we've done almost an hour of hangout. And, mm -hmm. um, so uh, I have rehearsals. You have rehearsal, I know you've got a rehearsal. <laughs> I have a horn quartet rehearsals now with, with, with Stefan and the boys. Um, so uh, I think probably we're going to have to say goodbye to this. Thank you for all your questions. I will show them all to Gabor. So do write in and say hello to him wherever you're, wherever you're watching from. And, um, and we didn't get many questions about our video, our warm-up video, which either means we explained it so well in the video that you don't need to ask anything, or it means you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> so do go and have a look at it. Um, if someone could put the, put the uh, link for it in the chat again, that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, we have uh, quite exciting horn hangouts coming up. We are going on tour. I'm going to uh, Los Angeles in January with Handsome Tim. He's coming all the way down from Melbourne. We're going to have Arturo Sandoval oh. on the horn hangouts, which is, he's really excited about it. He's also been practicing the horn. He wants some horn lessons. Oh. And, um, and we're also going to be doing a live masterclass at Colburn. And then in February, we have the entire horn section of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. We have Gene Pokorny, the legendary tuba player. And then we'll go to New York and we are, we are going to be with Julie Landsman and all her girls from the Met. She's had all her students who got jobs in the Met at Juilliard. And also with the wonderful Chris Martin. So we have a really busy horn hangout, horn hangout season coming up. But today, Gabor, Thank you. You are just one of our favorite <laughs> horn hangout guests. And you, you didn't get one of these last time, did you? I think you're medium now. You lost so much weight. No, no, no. You lost so uh, much weight. XXL. If, if, no, no. If, <laughs> if that doesn't fit, you get a large. But, but what do you think? I think that's... Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we change it to a large. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try it on when the cameras are off. Large is off. <laughs> but, uh, but now you are part of our, you are part of our <laughs> Horn Hangout family. So thank you so oh. much for doing that. And thank you. All the best for everything. Um, but don't leave us yet. Thank you. Stay, stay <laughs> please, a little while. No, I have um, <laughs> each month. A lot, a lot, a, <laughs> a lot, lot, to, a lot to play still. Um, Mahler 9 on the weekend, live on the Digital Concert Hall. Um, that's always a bit of a stress, this digital concert hall. Yeah. We're happy to have it for you guys, but <laughs> the, the live night is always a little bit... Uh, yeah, but uh, Mala 9 is every night uh, not so easy. That's true. It doesn't matter. <laughs> or, or easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a nice piece. Very, very nice. Thank you all for watching. I'm amazed at where you're all watching from. It's fantastic to know that you're out there. And thank you for, for your support. Thank you to Handsome Tim for staying up in Melbourne. George behind the camera right there. And Jakob doing all the wonderful video editing live. Thank you guys for everything. So thank you for watching. And Gabor, you're going to play <laughs> us out? Bye bye. Play us out, something nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.